Hello everyone, I'm gonna make this video trying to answer some questions for the people who want to upgrade the screen of your Lenovo ThinkPad. Here I have two identical machines, they both are T460, which are Skylake CPUs, and this one has the stock screen. I don't think this screen is very good. They have too much distortion especially in those cases and we in, in, at this machine we have the new screen I replaced the stock screen for new IPS one this one is 1080p you can see a very little distortion in colors and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what you need to know before buying a screen and before changing it the first thing you have to know is the model of your stock screen. For that we're going to use the Ada64 Extreme. You, you can see this in the trial version, you don't need to buy the program. And in the screen tab, you're going to see the model of your screen. After locating the screen model of your laptop, we're going to look at the specs of the screen at this website. Here you can see the, st the model of the screen and its specifications. Once you have found your stock screen, you're gonna focus on some data you already have here. The first thing you need to know is the type of connector of your screen, which is 30 pins in, at this case. It's pretty much standard, the most screens today use this, type, this kind of connector. The second important data we have to take a look is the resolution of the screen, which you can see here, and the viewing angle of this screen, which is very, very low. And this is the repos responsible for I having a bad experience by using this laptop. Alfred this is a very good machine with very good performance and ex extreme durability. This screen is very below average. You really find in most cases better screens than this one. Before telling you the model of the screen I use it here, you need to know that the Skylake and newer models doesn't have whitelist into its BIOS, which means you can put you can use pretty much every screen that matches the pins and the size of the laptop. For T440 and T450, these machines have whitelist protection. So you may have problems with the brightness regulation of your laptop. Here in the T460, which is a Skylake CPU, you don't have this problem. I have a perfect configuration right there, with normal drivers, nothing else needed, just a normal setup. Now that you know this may work only for these machines perfectly, I can recommend you the screen model that I used here. The screen I have to recommend is this one, which is a AUO brand screen, and it has 1080p resolution, it has a pretty, pretty better luminance, uh, it's a very, very good viewing angle, and a very good fidelity color radio. It's also 30 pins, and is 100% compatible with these machines. The second screen I have to recommend is this one by LG. This screen is also a 1080p screen, is a has a better luminance than the other, a pretty good viewing angle and a pretty good color fidelity. It also has 30 pins and the same, same kind of fixation it has is 100% compatible and this screen is also an IPS one which is better in my usage one thing you have to know is you can you maybe can buy one screen and the vendor can send another which is what happened here I bought this screen for a vendor here and the vendor sent me this one they are compatible, but they are not the same. This may happen because 
In most of the cases, people just want an compatible screen. They want to replace a bad or a broken, a broken screen for a new one. They don't care about the exactly model. That's why you may check the model when the screen arrives at your home. You may check the exactly model at the back of the screen, as you can see right there in the, in the label. Before actually buying your screen, you may look for videos showing how to replace your screen. You may type your model number and screen replacement and you may find what you need to know. It's not a difficult task and you won't need any special tools. You don't need to be very careful to not break anything in the process. Now we can see the difference between two screens. Here we have the or original one and here we have the new IPS one. We can see it's much brighter and does not change with the viewing angle. We you can pretty much see from every angle and it will not change the color. It's a very good upgrade, I recommend it and you can buy these screens very cheap on eBay or in China. I think after the sixth generation those screens are pretty much standard and you may not have problem even uh, with another model that I have not mentioned here. I made this video hoping to help anyone with these questions and to, to, to show the difference between those screens. If this helps anyone, I'm pretty happy and my mission is complete. If you made this upgrade and you know another screen model which is 100% compatible, please post in the comments and thank you for watching. See you all.